G'day everyone, Prepozzi here. I hope you're all well in whatever part of the world you're watching this video. Today is Monday 25th of May 2020 and the time here is 09.50 Australian Eastern Standard Time. Well folks, plenty to go on with, uh, talk about, discuss, so let's get right into it. This is my sponsor, Totally Rawesome, who make golden activated turmeric paste. Um, folks, if you haven't tried this stuff, you need to. and I get rave reviews back from everybody who tries it. Um, they also make stuff for your pets, um, which is good. Uh, I'll give it to my dog. He, he's got a uh, small arthritis in his hip, so he takes it. So uh, they also have uh, what's called Choco Bombs. Excellent, excellent stuff. Uh, here's their contact details. Uh, if you're bringing from overseas, drop the zero and add 061. It's in Australia, it's 0433 and info at totallyrawesome.com.au. Also give a, give a plug to David Morgan's channel uh, or site. Um, guys, with all the stuff that's going on with money and gold and investments, etc., you're mad if you don't uh, read someone like David's reports. This guy's a guru, he's a financial expert, I'm not, he is. Watch his stuff and uh, you'll learn some stuff. Okay. Some interesting things. Uh, this is, I'm gonna show you some stuff and this is for all the people out there who said, ah, prep, yeah, there. I said three weeks, three or four weeks, sorry. I said in four weeks, uh, based upon what I was seeing, that something big would give. And everybody was like, some people got back and went, Aah. I mean, and what I meant was China, Australia, China, America, China and the rest of the world. And as I said, that's exactly what happened. Now, I also said, uh, be careful of the financial stuff because uh, there's some areas that are literally going to uh, kill us. And you know what I meant by that? I'll position this light better. Just hang on a second. There we go. Uh, what I said was the um, world is going to blame China to start with, which they did, uh, and then China is going to dig its heels in, which it has, and then uh, you're literally going to see the divisions open up within your each and every country as to how that plays out. Now the financial side of it is even more worrying. Now, in China, I'm going to show you in a second. So, you know, they've got all these cases in China and around the world and, you know, everybody's this, that and everything else, which I don't understand. You know, they're, they're making kids sit not together at schools and, you know, kids don't get this shit, this coronavirus. You know, I could list a long line of things that are just absolutely ridiculous. And I'm guessing everybody's got to that point and gone, this is bullshit. You know, like take, for example, rugby players, AFL players, um, soccer players, rugby league players, you know, the whole lot. These are the fittest people on the planet. But they're not allowed to play sport. Not one single football player, as far as I know, of any code has dropped dead. Got it? Dropped dead. Why? Because they're superior, superior athletes. So why the hell did they stop sportsmen from playing sport? This makes no sense. When you can still go down to what you, uh, what everyone calls the big box stores, Bunnings, I uh, uh, can't remember the name of the one in America, you know, but get your garden supplies, go shopping, go to malls, go this, go that, but you can't go to church and you, you can't watch sport on TV. You couldn't even play golf. Why? I just, it's just bullshit. Absolute bullshit. You know, and they said they were worried about cross-contamination. <laughs> I don't know. I just, just did not, you know, if you weren't going to get it, if you weren't going to get it in a shopping centre, down the mall or in, you know, the big stores, 
you're sure as shit not, not going to get it at a beach and you're sure as shit not going to get it, you know, going to church. It's just nonsense, absolute nonsense. It, the whole thing was a setup. Anyway, yeah, people died, mainly old people, you know, deaf door people sort of thing. Um, anyway, look, about this China thing. So China, oh, I'm going to show it to you now. Just hang on a second. Okay, this is the um, what's going on with the world news, so to speak, as the business pages. And it's quite interesting because they're really getting stuck into China now. Like it's it's actually been really interesting. But the one I want to show you is down here a little ways, if it's still on here. Hang on a second. Wow, that took a bit of finding, folks. Let me tell you, it was there, and then they they've actually <laughs> put this put this one on the back burner. So I had to find it again. Um, now, if you guys know anything at all about finance, a country needs to set its budget. It's just like running a house. You just need to, you've got to set a budget. Okay, this year we're going to spend three hundred billion. That's it. And then you work, the budget of course works based on those parameters. And off that, you have to set a GDP level. So, because that ties in with your budget. China this week said they're not going to set a GDP level because it's irrelevant. But in the same breath, they've actually said that they are now going to. Um, release mega billions of dollars, like uh, let's let's say it, it's trillions. They've already released four trillion, so they're going to do more on top of that. Now, technically, you won't find this if you've got to really, really look for this. China is budgetary budget budgetary. Is that the right word? No, no. They're in a mess. They're in the same position as America. Their actual uh, deficit is $45 trillion. That's known. That's a fact. So you've got China now proposing more stimulus, more money, which is going to be good for all the people out there in the world who you know thrive on China. Um, it's just ridiculous, folks. And I told you, this is not going to last. It, it, we're talking, we used to be talking uh, big numbers. Now we're talking phone book type numbers. Uh, it, I don't even know what to say about it anymore, except make sure you're growing veggies and shit because this is going to pop. Mate, this isn't going to go much further. And here's the scary thing. China cannot keep spending this money, right? Because the people in China look up, as in hierarchy, food, medicines, looked up, being looked after. The government does everything. So what do you think is going to happen when this goes pop in China? Now, there was a really interesting interview that... Uh, um, what's his name? The US um, Secretary of State, Pompeo, did with the ABC's Outsiders yesterday. And I'm going to put the link for you to watch it and also read it because it's it's actually caused a huge uproar here in Australia because basically we've got one rogue, rogue state here run by lefties who's signed agreements with China even though the federal government said you cannot do this, they went ahead and did it anyway. And now that government will, that state government will not release any of the information about this thing. So this is going to go tits up big time. I'm half expecting the Australian government to say, well, you're going to do that. You're going to lose this, this, and this. And then the Victorian people are going to get up in arms, obviously, 
and say, well, hang on a minute, you can't do that. We'll say, well, you have to get rid of this first because the US told us yesterday, told Australia, if you do not move away from this, we are going to disconnect from you. Imagine that. They're going to disconnect from Australia. And that's exact, that was Mike Pompeo's exact words. I'm not paraphrasing. We will disconnect from Australia if this continues. So we, we have a communist state in Australia because they're backing themselves with China. It, look, uh, some of you people might remember, uh, some of you overseas people won't know this, but we had a, a, a government here that was sacked many years ago, basically trying to do exactly what these guys are doing. They were trying to do it and they sacked them. So I'm fully expecting in the next couple of weeks, uh, either the Governor General for Victoria or the Governor General for Australia, who can do this, by the way, under the Queen's authority, to sack this government, because that's where this is going. If they don't back down, the Australian government will have to sack this government, the Victorian government. Can you imagine that? Under, and, and I'm going to say this now so everyone understands this, under national security concerns. So basically, they're going to tell the Victorians that you've got communists running your state, uh, members of the CCP. Is a PPP, Communist People's Party, or whatever it is. That's how serious this is. So if you haven't heard it before, you've heard it here first because that's where this is going. They're doing the old, you know, ming roll at the moment, blah, blah, blah. America's soon going to push a button to start disconnecting from Australia, and that is when the shit's going to hit the fan. Seriously. Forget about China. China's old hat now. We're never going to get that relationship back with China ever to the point where they will try to invade Australia. And I told you, they're going to send a ship, I don't know, aircraft carrier and all the, you know, there's like 10 ships that come with it. That's going to rock up in Australia soon somewhere. It's maybe on its way now. So these are really worrying times, folks. And if you're not paying attention, you should be. I want to show you something else here. Sorry, wrong one. Here you go. Look at the top heading here. This is from today's ABC, the Australian newspaper. Japan to set to unveil second stimulus package worth more than 100 trillion yen. You can't make this shit up. Look, I still hold, I, I'm now going to say something that's going to be controversial, I guess, but I'm going to say it anyway. I reckon you've got three weeks left before this really starts imploding. Um, and one of the things I watched, which has made me lean towards that as well, was... Um, there's an interview that Greg Hunter did with uh, Bo Polney. Now, look, I'm not too sure about the, the Christian stuff on it and all that sort of stuff, so I'm going to say that right off. I'm not really religious, but I will say this. Whenever Bo Polney speaks, you probably need to listen to him because he, as far as I know, he got one thing wrong in all these things that he's been saying, and these are just predictions. They're not predictions. He actually plans them out. And he got, he got one wrong where gold was supposed to go up and it went down or something like that. I can't remember, but that was a long couple of years ago. <clears throat> but since then, oh, holy shit, he's been good. Now, there's a PDF that's on uh, Greg Hunter's website for the interview. Um, and I'll put the link to it because I'm, I'm actually going through it now. And I, I'm basing my information to you based on what he's saying, based on this Christian's uh, the Bible predictions and all this sort of stuff. Now, you know, I, I haven't got a clue about any of that. But what I do know is Japan currently has a, a debt to GDP ratio of like 270%. And 
and as I've said before, anything over 50 is bad. America's just went up past 110, I think. Anything over 50 is bad. So this, if you're thinking, oh, we're just going to, this everything's just going to go back to normal. There's a couple of, I'd actually ask you to do this as well. Go through the papers and have a look at how many people are losing their houses and how many people are losing their rentals because they can't afford to pay their rent. We are going to have this massive homeless problem in this country really soon. And the second thing we're going to have is a massive relocation problem because people are going to start going, why the hell am I living in Sydney? It's shit. Why am I living in Melbourne? It's shit. You know, these, these big commercial hubs that we need people to be in, people are just going to start going, you know what? If I can't pay my rent, what's the point? What's the point in living if I can't live properly, if I can't feed myself, feed, you know, give my kids a good schooling? Why the hell am I doing here? And then they're just going to start relocating. You probably got the same problem in America. I was reading something the other day in America where a lot of these unemployed people are now getting the hell out of the cities, New York especially. New York migration is massive at the moment, going to other states. So, look, that long haul that we were talking about, we're here now, you know, the last couple of years. Uh, a lot of people have said in the comments, you said this two years ago. I know I did. And, you know, they, like I said to you before, they've pulled every trick out of that magic rabbit hat to get us to where we are now. So this is not going to end well. It never was. It never is, and it's never going to. Um, and if you're wondering why I'm, you know, I haven't been making videos, it's like I said here, because I've been doing my veggie gardens, building a new chicken coop, secure chicken coop, uh, putting up fences, lights, cameras, the whole lot. Like we've been going the whole hog here, uh, storing our food, what what we can. And here's the other thing. Let, let's get down, let's get down to the prepping thing here. Um, you know how hard it is to to um, secure three months worth of food, boxes, etc. It's bloody jeez, it's near impossible if you haven't got a shed or a big garage to put it in. You know we're struggling because we're renovating the house, so we're trying to find places to put this shed. You know what I mean? Um, and we're kind of struggling. So I don't know if anyone else out there has got any great ideas, like digging it in the ground or whatever, but it ain't easy. And I'm telling you the truth, it's not easy. You know, some of it's perishable, some of it's not. Um, and please, guys, listen to me. Unless you've been in the Army or you know what you're doing in that regard and you're real clicked on with this shit, let your wives pack the boxes. I'm being serious because let's be honest, who's the first person that's going to go near the boxes anyway, apart from you picking them up for your wife and giving them to your wife, your wife. So let your wife manage the boxes, please, because I did a, I thought I did a pretty good job. And, you know, my wife patted me on the back and said, yeah, you did do a pretty good job, but you forgot this, 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 and this. Uh, and I'm like, oh, okay, well, I just thought that if you pack that, you know, anyway, look, let your wife go through the boxes, organize the boxes, do your perishables, non-perishables, etc., etc. Because we, well, let me put it to you this way, from all the boxes that I packed, we ended up with about six or seven empty boxes. Yeah, tells you why. Let them do it, they know what they're doing. They've done it all their life, they're preparers. We fight and we do that sort of stuff and we build shit and do muscular things and we're not very good using this for that sort of stuff. So let them do it. They're good at it. And that includes packing your um, your, your kit bags, uh, your bug out bags if you've got them. Can't stress that enough either. My, my bug out bag, my wife just looking around, how do you need that for? She said, what about this? You forgot this. I'm like, well, oh, yeah, that's a good idea. So all these, you know, basically... Let them manage the stuff, okay? 
if you're a man, worry about the ammunition, the fighting stuff, the knives, you know, all that sort of stuff. Yeah, great. That's the first thing you're going to think of, probably. And then go back from there. <clears throat> so, three weeks. You literally got three weeks. In this month, in June, something is going to go click, kabang, massively. Can't, it just cannot go on anymore. You can't have this many people unemployed and you cannot have this much money being shoved into the economy without massive hyperinflation, massive depression, everything else that goes with it. And don't kid yourself, we're in a depression now. We are. We're in a depression. So watch this space. Get yourselves ready. Go and buy your fruit and veggie, um, your seeds and everything else because it ain't going to go well, folks. It's going to go pear-shaped real soon. Okay, let's do the prayers. Okay, verse of the day. Be devoted to one another in love. Honour one another above yourselves. Pretty good. And as always, folks, we'll finish with the Lord's Prayer. The Lord's Prayer. Our Father, which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, in earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory for ever and ever. Amen. All right, folks. Well, I've probably said enough. I'll do. I'm, I'm actually going to contact David Morgan um, and try and get an interview set up for later in the week, or you know, whenever he's available, really, um, so we can speak about you know just what is happening out there because it's just chaos and mayhem you know it really is this is just getting to the point of being it's not even ridiculous anymore that's how bad it is uh and what he thinks is going to happen all right everybody god bless look after yourselves prep out <laughs>